morning dear students welcome to today's gk session today we will start our new lesson lesson number 15 famous indian trees okay so let's read india's biodiversity what is the meaning of biodiversity the variety of plant and animal life in the world is varied what is the meaning of varied a number of different types of elements and dense dense means thick a wide variety of trees plants and wildlife can thrive what is the meaning of thrive here thrive means grow or develop well in india due to the distinct what is the meaning of distinct distinct means different in nature from something else of a similar type climatic bones what is the meaning of climatic bones areas with different climates that exist in the country pictures of some common trees of india with their descriptions are given below recognize and write the indian names of these trees okay so look here at picture number 1 here the description is the common indian name of this tree translates into tree of the gods okay uh, the the common indian name of this tree translate into tree of the gods this common pine of the himalayan region simingli what is the meaning of simingli here simingli means appearing to be something especially when this is not true okay reaches into the clouds it looks like that it reaches to the clouds standing at a height of 60 to 75 meter okay so what is the name of this indian tree the name of this indian tree is deodar okay deodar is known as tree of the gods and the height of deodar tree is 60 to 75 meters okay now look here at picture number 2 This tree is best known for its sour and slightly bitter fruits. Okay, it is best known for its sour. Sour means khatta, and slightly bitter. Bitter means uh, kadwa. Fruits. Its fruits are an important source of vitamin C. Okay, so the fruits are an important source of which which vitamin vitamin C. This tree is widely cultivated and grown wild all over India and Myanmar. Okay, so the name of this Indian tree is Amla. Okay, Amla. Amla is the most widely used herb in the Ayurvedic system of medicine. amla tree okay and amla is also used for hair and eye care okay now look here at picture number 3 it is said that this tree is 4000 years old the tree is 4000 years old in 327 bc when the army of alexander the great entered the indus valley they saw it there its flowers are dedicated to the moon okay so what is the name of this indian tree the name of this indian tree is aam aam means mango tree so mango or aam is used for making pickles murabba amchur etc okay so the this so the name of this indian tree is aam okay now look here at picture number 4 it has the distinction what is the meaning of distinction distinction means excellence okay of bearing the large as edible fruit in the world okay it's enormous enormous means very large in size fruits may weigh as much as 45 kg okay Uh, the, so the name of this indian tree is kathal kathal has the distinction of bearing the largest edible fruit and the size of this fruit or weight of this fruit is as much as 45 kg okay kathal you all heard right okay now look here at this corner what is written over here neem is perhaps best known for its medicinal property neem tree 
okay so the name name is best known for its medicinal property and is used in the preparation of making of cosmetics okay uh, such as uh, shampoos soaps so neem is used in making shampoos soaps creams ointments etc it is also used to treat the pox virus okay pox virus and is used as a natural pesticide okay now we move to our next page okay look here at picture number 6 5 it is a multiple use tree when is grow which is grown widely for its hardwood okay it is multiple use tree okay which is grown widely for its hard wood it grows best in the drier northern parts of india okay it grows best where not in drier northern parts of india months of march and april are its blooming season when it is full of a small white colored fragrant flowers fragrant means good smell okay now look here the name of this indian tree is sesam tree okay which tree sesam tree so sesam tree is grown widely for its hard wood and it is best grown in drier northern parts of india okay so in the blooming season means in the month of march and april uh, the sesam has colorful white sorry white colorful fragrant flowers okay now look here at picture number 6 it is a small thorny tree it grows up to a height of 7 to 12 meters it has yellow round head flowers which are nectarless okay the flower has no nectar the bark is what is the meaning of bark here means the hard outer covering of a tree is red brown to blackish and rough the leaves are light green and fern like up to 120 mm long and 50 mm wide okay the length of the leaf is 120 m long and 50 m wide what is the name of this indian tree kikar okay kikar so kikar uh, is a small thorny tree and the height of the tree is 7 to 12 meter and kikar has yellow round head flowers which are nectarless okay now we move to our next picture picture number 7 picture number 7 across india this tree is believed to be sacred this tree is believed to be sacred and a part of ramayana this tree is mentioned in buddhism and jainism also okay so what is the name of this tree the tree name is ashok tree ashok tree ashok tree is a part of ramayana and it is also mentioned in buddhism and jainism also now look here at picture number 8 it is an auspicious tree auspicious what is the meaning of auspicious here means favorable tree of india it is an essential part of numerous numerous means many religious and social observances observances means an act performed for religious reason the leaves of this tree are like yews and feathery brooms what is the meaning of feathery brooms extremely light now look here so the answer of the this so the name of this indian tree is nariyal coconut tree okay nariyal nariyal you all know right so nariyal or coconut has is used in <coughs> cultural and religious significance okay it has cultural and religious significance in indian society and uh, it is used in wedding and worship also nariyal is used in wedding and worship also okay so the name of this indian tree is nariyal tree 
okay nariyal tree now look here at this corner what is written over here the first known tree was a leafless the first known tree was a leafless means no leaf fir like plant from new york and it is from where it is from new york okay now we move to our next lesson lesson number 16 india's largest structures india's largest structures tall buildings and skyscrapers what is the meaning of skyscrapers skyscrapers means a very tall building of many stories usually determine how urbanized what is the meaning of urbanized here means becoming more like a city a country is today india is mapping itself on the global stage in more ways than one okay now look here at this picture okay it is a picture of ahuja building ahuja building now let's read about it at an architectural architectural means practice of designing and constructing building height of 815 feet this building houses 78 apartments and has nine elevator apartments means uh, you can say uh, a set of rooms rented for a holiday and has nine elevators means lift the number of floors above the ground is 54 number of floors above the ground is 54 and below the ground are two built by the ahuja group this building is ranked 168th tallest building in asia 168th tallest in, in asia the steel cum concrete structure is used for residential purposes and located near raja bhav desai mark in mumbai raja bhav desai mark in mumbai okay the name of this building is ahuja building okay now rajasthan here the picture is of the is of state rajasthan largest state in india rajasthan is the largest state in india it is located in the western part of india where it is located in western part of india it has two distinct geographical regions with desert on the one side it has desert on the one side and thick forest on the other side and aravalli the oldest mountain chain is the dividing line between the two climatic zones of the state means aravalli uh, the oldest mountain dividing this two climatic zones okay one is desert and second is thick far forest okay now look here at this picture it is a picture of national library kolkata national library kolkata the national library in kolkata is the largest library in india it is an institution of national importance under under the department of culture ministry of tourism tourism means operation of holidays and visit to places of interest Uh, and culture government of india national library is situated on a scenic 30 acres belvedere belvedere state in kolkata belvedere state in kolkata it is designated why it is designated to collect disseminate okay disseminate what is the meaning of disseminate here means uh, spread okay to collect spread and preserve means to conserve the printed material produced in the country okay printed material produced in our country india so the name of this library is national library kolkata okay now look here at this picture statue of unity vadodara you all heard about it right statue of unity it is world's tallest structure statue world's tallest statue statue of unity vadodara under way near the small town of vadodara in gujarat is the world's tallest statue okay now it is completed okay now it is completed what with measure 597 feet 
द मेजरमेंट ऑफ दिस स्टैच्यू इज फाइव नाइन्टी सेवन फिट दिस स्टैच्यू इज ऑफ फ्रीडम फाइटर सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल द स्टैच्यू इज ऑफ फ्रीडम फाइटर सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल हु वॉज ऑल्सो इंडिया फर्स्ट डेप्यूटी प्राइम मिनिस्टर फर्स्ट डेप्यूटी प्राइम मिनिस्टर सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल इट इज अ ट्रिब्यूट टू सरदार पटेल एज द फाउंडिंग फादर ऑफ द इंडियन रिपब्लिक एंड इज बींग कॉल्ड द स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी सो इट इज स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी वडोदरा ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो